I, I think this is a perfect example where we, get, we treated it with respect, we didn't wait, we took it and we dealt with it. I think we started early because we wanted to get ahead of the game. I think it's so important in these things that you don't just wait till the last minute. The fact that it just went completely seamlessly demonstrates that we did our job. And we did our job at so many different levels throughout the organisation. From you know, the senior level, liaising with the Bank of England and uh, our banks, right the way through to all of our people doing the day-to-day -day jobs. 18 months before Polymer launched, I was comfortable that we could cope with it as an organisation. Um, I've always wanted to make sure we do the right thing by staff. Um, so the way I look at it is living wage is a demonstration that we're doing the right thing rather than let's focus on just living wage per se. Because if I focus purely and simply on living wage, I don't want to fall into the trap of thinking I've finished. I, maybe that's a, a different way of thinking about it, but that's how I see it. We're, we're a people organisation. More than half of my cost base is people. So if more than my half of my cost base is people, I need them to be engaged and I need them to be rewarded. Otherwise, how my business won't succeed. I have to find a way to make that people asset work well. Um, if people aren't engaged, they're not going to work well. Um, so for me, engagement is about keeping the people of the organisation focused, engaged, working together. If it, that's what engagement means to me. They come in and test so many different parts of the organisation and how we look after people. Um, and to come out with not just the gold standard, but to come out with the champion standard, it demonstrates to me that we must be doing something right. I'm not complacent. There's always going to be something else that we can do, but it tells me we're getting it right more often than not. I think the overall results are, are outstanding. Um, I remember back in my first year, going back in 2011, and getting the results then, and the results then I think were 48, and I thought, wow, this isn't good. Uh, we need to do something about this, and at that time set a really, frankly, ridiculous target, and said we're going to hit 90. Um, didn't know how, didn't know when, but if you aim for something huge, and you get most of the way there, it's, 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 a, it's a big success. I still think there's some work um, to do, and as a result, we need to be a lot, more, um, a lot more detailed and a lot more focused by area as to what we're going to do. So it's gonna be a different approach going forward, but the aim is still to keep on improving. Uh, it's a fantastic day to, uh, to go. I didn't manage to get to this year, but I was at the previous years. Um, and just seeing the absolute competitive spirit of um, guys from within the organisation trying to, trying to outdo each other was just fantastic. It re reminds me of another um, story actually, and that was when um, we were talking to a foreign central bank um, about potentially doing some consulting work for them. And what they turned around to us and said, you don't understand the value of what you know because you see it every day, you sort of don't, don't even realize it's special. I suppose the Champions League is the same like that for, for me. You, you, you see it every day, you understand it's going on. It's only when you see it in that sharp focus that you realize how special it is. We're, we're, we're a team at the end of the day, all of us. We're in one team. Um, and if the team doesn't know in which direction it's heading, then how would you expect to get there? This, exec, this year's Exec Roadshows, as last year's Exec Roadshows, we shared where we were going as an organisation with a strategy. We said two years ago we were going to go for an end-to-end -end strategy and try and do more along that end-to-end. -end. Last year we told you what we'd done and, and how we put that in place. We also shared that we were going for probably one of the biggest contracts we've ever tried to win. Santander. We've not hidden that, we've shared that, that's what we're going for. Going through the initial early stages of the Santander bidding process, the one thing that has stood out for me is their reaction to our culture. Because culture isn't something that you can buy, 
Culture is something that you have to grow and you have to grow it over a number of years and we have absolutely bowled them over with our culture. So where do we go now? I think we've got a final presentation or the next round of presentations is in early December um, and then after that well as I said before the process seems to be quite fluid and I'll learn then what's going to happen next and tell you guys what's going to happen next. <laughs>